not allowing water to evaporate, causing dryness. You can order them at CapriMD.com. That's CapriMD.com. These products work. Welcome back, everybody. It is the PM Show with Mr. Robert Conrad. Let me remind you, if you're only hearing the show on your local terrestrial radio station or cable system, you're only getting half of the program. Join us at crntalk.com and log into the CRN Interactive Chat Room. Right now, we have live video of the studio, and there is no way I can explain to you what's going on right now. But you guys in the, the CRN Interactive Chat Room know exactly what I'm talking about. Mr. Robert Conrad Show. Called, you know what this is called? What's that one called, Bobo? Lawsuit. <laughs> well, let's talk about that guy, the actor. That one guy? You know the guy I'm talking about? The one guy you're talking about. Uh, the actor that uh, got into a thing with the paparazzi. Oh, boy, yeah. yeah what's his name? Uh, Robert Conrad. No, no, not me. <laughs> this, this guy that uh, he's current. He's got a hit show on the air right now, and he's also a movie actor. He punched the guy. Come on! It's a, punched oh, him in the gooser. Yeah, oh, come on! You're talking about. The, you're not talking about uh, the Russell Crowe guy. No, because no, he, he doesn't like this the paparazzi is, wait, either. This is just just happened three days ago. Just happened three it's days been ago. Been all over everything. Well, that tells hey, you Brian will know. Been. Hey Brian, who? What's the name of the guy we're talking about? I tell you what, Bob. I don't really listen to all this news and everything. But is it Alec Baldwin? Absolutely. Oh, Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Good one, Brian. Yeah, buddy. All right. What's so great about it? The whole country knows about it. Someone in the chat room. Yeah. Hi, hey Brian. Hey, yo, Brian. What's Thank up, you. man? You're one of our one of our regulars. Well, Uncle Bob, uh, I would want to ask you about. I want to uh, ask you about. Who the is that in the background? Uh, that's that's my wife. I, I've got a I've got a muzzle. It's motor mouth, and here comes the muzzle. All okay, right, listen. To, what, what, what's your wife? What, what's your wife's name? Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Deborah, listen. Shh. Well, do me a favor. I want you to um, put her in the closet. No, I want you to get a hold of Mike Horn and send him an email and say that you want the show to be stretched to three hours. That two hours isn't enough. Okay. Well, that's be fun. I'll be glad to do that. No, Deborah, will you do that for me? I. She, I've got her in the closet. She can't. All right, now. all right, all right. Anyway, what, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I've been in the closet. I, I, I was right. talking earlier about the uh, the time you were on Sea Hunt. Uh, yes. The first time you were on, you were a skier, and I think you died right early in the episode. Yes. But you reappeared the same year, and you were on a boat, and uh, you were doing some uh, some kind of uh, exploring, and you saw some whales on a radar screen, and then. Yes. Uh, Yes. I can't remember what Lloyd Bridges' name was, but you all had to rescue him and another lady. Yes. But you were a fine actor even at 24 years old. Well, uh, thank you for that. Uh, Lloyd Bridges' name was Bud Bridges. That was his nickname. And you know there's an irony there. So there he is. He's a famous movie actor. Then he ends up with his own TV thing. And the reason you go from being a wonderful actor to uh, your own TV thing is because you get rich owning your own show. And Bud ends up... You know, he's got the two sons that are actors, and he, right. and he ends up in Bear Valley. How about that for a coincidence? Well, I, I've seen some pictures of you where you and him uh, probably 20, 25 years ago yeah. looked like you were at a cocktail party yeah. at, in Bear Valley. Yes, we were friends. We were buddies. I, I loved him. You know, I was a, a deputy sheriff up there. We tried to keep the neighborhood the way we wanted, and we did, and Lloyd contributed to it. He's just, he was a wonderful well, guy. Well, he uh, he turned out to be quite a funny guy there in, in the airplane movies, and, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and he, as a serious actor, you wouldn't think he could do that, but he was he was pretty good at that. Oh, gosh, he was in that classic movie, High Noon. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he got in a fight with uh, the lead actor, uh, Gary Cooper. That's right. Yeah. All right, well, now what's on your mind? We I know y'all go. got to go, but Uncle Bob... You sure can still cut a rug. I saw you dancing when the, when right. you came back from the break. So uh, that's right. Do you go night clubbing? Uh, no, I don't yet, but I might start. You never can tell. <laughs> Things are starting to look up. Two years later, I'm starting to think about. Are you out of nine there. yet? No, but I'm an eight five. All right. Well, before the show's over, hit a nine. I'll I'd love to, man. And get get her out of the closet. 
Oh, I'll let her out. I, I, I promise. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks for the right. call. Have a good one. Thanks okay. a lot, Brian. Appreciate Bye-bye. it, buddy. All right, yeah. now let's good call go from Brian. to uh, Javier. Javier is uh, uh, Pompi- Pompinac. Pompinac. I don't know how you pronounce that last uh, name. It's P-O-M-P-I-G-N-A-C. Pompi- Pompinac. Javier. Anyway, Javier, a little hello from uh, before leaving New York City, where I have spent a lot of good time with my lovely Isabel and four children. I have worked to improve my English and be as good as I can for my trip uh, in October. The last radio show was terrific. Hey, okay, I want to make sure Chelsea sang it again. I know what a coincident that was, and it was, you're right, it was wonderful. Now, I want to make sure, Javier, that I am not out of the country when you come to New York. So you've got to let me know the specifics. Exactly, you say, I, I will be in New York during this period of time, and then that way uh, I'll be in Los Angeles when you come here. And I may make a trip to New York. It uh, just depends on a lot of situations that I have pending now. Okay, thanks, Javier. So now, uh, where do we go now? We go to a... Uh, Going back go to, to France. We go to Jean-Luc. How are you, Jean-Luc? Uh, hello, hello, Duke. Hello, Eric. I'm hello, fine. Jean-Luc. Thank you and you. Come on, Jean-Luc. Like get, to... get to the chase. What's up? Yes, I would like to, to talk with you about the movie Los Bandidos, The Bandits. Uh, I think you were uh, co-directing the movie with uh, Alfredo Zacharias. Uh, How Alfredo did you sh- yes, 1965, uh, Alfredo Zacharias. Uh, his father was a famous uh, producer, and that was his son. What's the question, oh. monsieur? W- w- what did yes. you- How did you share between you two the different things uh, you had to do on the set? It was easy because I did the English, he did the Spanish. So it was really, it wasn't a problem. It worked out uh, and I was very happy. And then, and did you like the film? Yes. Good. Uh, did you, during the shooting of this movie, you were playing in English and in Spanish. Yes. And Hang in there, John Luke. We'll find out after the break, buddy. We'll be back.